If you're having a bad day, two pickles on a chicken breast nestled in a bun is sure to magically turn it around, AKA the original Chick-fil-A sandwich. But maybe y'all are watching this on Sunday, so you can't satisfy that Chick-fil-A craving. If so, here are 10 things you may not know about Chick-fil-A, and this may help you make it to Monday breakfast. Number one, the famous chicken sandwich was a happy accident. Before Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy graced us with Chick-fil-A, he owned another restaurant called The Dwarf House. Chicken was not a regular menu item at The Dwarf House, but a local chicken supplier had some leftover chicken breasts that they needed to get rid of. Serendipitously, Cathy made a deal and ordered the chicken for his restaurants. Cathy decided to pressure cook the chicken so that he could serve it quickly to his customers. The chicken cooked in four minutes while still staying tender and juicy. From the very beginning, the chicken was cooked with peanut oil but Kathy needed a good breading recipe. He taste tested different versions with customers until his customers told him to stop changing it because they liked it that way. The recipe hasn't changed since the creation. It's currently locked in a vault at Chick-fil-A headquarters. Who knew a chicken sandwich could be such a tasty and great invention? Number two, the Dwarf House is still open to the public. Now I know where my next road trip stop will be. The restaurant located outside of Atlanta basically serves the same food they did 50 years ago. A very select few group of customers can buy food from the original Dwarf House menu at 1946 prices. It's been years since any new members were added to this esteemed group. And no, it's not the Illuminati. The members, who are mostly friends of the business, were handpicked by Truett Cathy. Steak dinner for 65 cents and a cup of coffee for five. If you're not a member of that inner group, that's okay. You can still eat there. Number three, Chick-fil-A's first location was in a mall. Chick-fil-A pioneered food court dining when they opened in Atlanta's Greenbrier Mall in 1967. Since the food court concept was new, he had a hard time convincing the mall to let him open a restaurant. They ultimately obliged and he named it Chick-fil-A. They served the original chicken sandwich and didn't open on Sundays. The restaurant was a success, prompting Kathy to open locations in whatever mall would let him in. Number four, ever wonder what the A in Chick-fil-A means? It's not that they spelled filet wrong. Their food is grade A, top quality. An A plus taste for sure. Number five, like the chicken sandwich, the Chick-fil-A sauce is also an accent and fans go crazy for this tangy sauce. In 2014, restaurants ordered over 250 million servings, making it the most popular sauce choice across the country. It also started when a franchise operator in Fredericksburg, Virginia was out of dipping sauce and needed some quick. So he went into his kitchen and whipped up a honey mustard recipe. The new honey mustard became a staple at his local franchise. One day, an employee accidentally mixed barbecue sauce with the honey mustard. His boss tasted it and they began offering the new blend, AKA Chick-fil-A sauce to customers. It was an instant hit and continues to satisfy customers today. Number six, the Chick-fil-A business is family run and will never go public. Much of Chick-fil-A's success can be attributed to the founder, Truett Cathy. One thing Cathy made sure is that Chick-fil-A will never become a publicly traded company. He didn't want stockholders telling him how to run the business. In Cathy's world, employees come first and business follows. Number seven, Chick-fil-A buys more lemons than anyone else in the world. They serve so much lemonade, over 100 million cups per year. Our collective citrus thirst demands at least 250 million lemons per year. Let's do the math. If one pound of lemons equals roughly four individual lemons, then 8,000 lemons make a whole ton. Divide 250 million lemons per year by 8,000 lemons and you'll get 31,250 tons of lemons per year. Assuming one cargo ship can carry at least 25 tons, then we can calculate that Chick-fil-A buys enough lemons per year to fill 1,250 cargo ships. That's a lot of lemons, y'all. Number eight, it took seven years to develop the chicken nuggets. Chick-fil-A takes a lot of pride in their nugget making skills. Chick-fil-A's blog, The Chicken Wire, reported that it took their food scientist seven years to hammer out the perfect grilled chicken nugget. The process cost them $50 million. That's money well spent. Most of the cost went to developing a special grill to cook the nuggets. Comment below, which one do y'all like better, grilled or fried? I'm a fried girl. Number nine, Chick-fil-A and Moe's Original Barbecue had the funniest sign feud. In 2017, it all started with Chick-fil-A's sign that encouraged diners to try their new Smokehouse Barbecue Sandwich. 
Most thought Chick-fil-A was stepping on their barbecue territory and replied via their own sign. I thought we were friends. They added the ultimate Chick-fil-A dig, open Sundays. Number 10, we know one way to get free Chick-fil-A for life. If you're born in a Chick-fil-A bathroom, you might get free Chick-fil-A for life. In 2018, a girl was born in the bathroom of a San Antonio Chick-fil-A and the company showered her with some grand gifts. She'll get free Chick-fil-A for life, a guaranteed first job at age 14, and a Chick-fil-A sponsored first birthday, at Chick-fil-A of course. While there's yet to be a wedding or funeral at Chick-fil-A, the restaurant has definitely served food at both. Like, comment, subscribe below so you don't miss any more videos and stories from Southern Living.